Chair Funky with it. TRS Matt here, and I'm going to answer a question that a lot of you guys have been asking us here at TRS. So, with our customers, you guys are always upgrading your headlights, your fog lights, your tail lights, you want it brighter. We get it. I'm the same way too. I understand, all right? And when people are doing these LED bulb swaps in their front turn signals, their brake lights, etc., it's something that people are often really confused about is whether or not they need a resistor. The answer really is why you would need a resistor is because LED bulbs in general, they don't consume as much power, okay, as the original incandescent bulb that they're replacing. They're just more efficient, et cetera. But the vehicle and the relay that runs those circuits can sense that when there's not as much power. And they're, they're designed to do that because they know that when there's not as much power running through the circuit or something is off compared to spec, that's what causes it to hyperflash. Hyperflash is designed to tell you as the driver that your bulb is out, but it kind of has the same sort of effect when you swap in an LED bulb. To make a long story short, when you need a resistor is when the bulb blinks, okay? So brake lights, no, those lights do not blink. Interior lights, no, those don't blink. Parking lights, no, those bulbs don't blink. Reverse lights, no, those bulbs also do not blink. A front turn signal, yes, absolutely, that bulb blinks, okay? A front parking light that doubles as a turn signal, yes, that bulb also blinks. Oftentimes, people put a switchback bulb in there to replace it. License plate bulbs, no. Does it blink? No. Rear turn signals, yes, okay? So as a rule of thumb, if the bulb blinks, you need a resistor. So we have a Xenon Depot XTR 3157 C-Series bulb in front of me right here. This is a switchback bulb. It's not extremely high powered. And when you're putting these bulbs in your front position where you have a turn signal that also is a parking light, you will absolutely need a resistor to prevent this bulb from hyper flashing. Another common option, this is the GTR carbide bulb, okay? These bulbs actually generally do not need resistors. And why? Because they have so many LED chips on them that the power consumption from this bulb is actually so high that it's actually very similar to the original incandescent bulb that it is designed to replace. These are not so common. Bulbs like this are much, much more common, whether it's a brand that we carry like Xenon Depot, Morimoto, or whatever, anything else you find out there on Amazon, um, much more common to have a lower power level like this, okay? So what we're gonna do is go ahead and install a set of these bulbs into a vehicle outside in the parking lot. We'll go ahead and we will tap in a, also a Xenon Depot resistor, show you how that is properly set up so that you can avoid hyperflash because nobody likes hyperflash when installing a set of LED bulbs to upgrade your ride. All right, cool. So you've got the LED bulb set up in the socket. It's inside of the housing. You're suffering with your hyperflash. All you need to do when you're installing this resistor is find the positive and the negative wire that powers the connector that the bulb is plugged into, okay? You're always gonna have two wires coming out of your resistor. It does not matter which one is positive and which one is negative, so don't spend too much time worrying about that. Locate the wires that are powering the connector that the bulb is plugged into. Use a T-splice to tap into one with one wire. Use a T-splice to tap into the other with the other wire. Make sure that everything is secure. We also recommend mounting this resistor to something that's metal. You don't wanna just leave it dangling there. You don't wanna mount it to something that is plastic because it does get warm. And everything from there should take care of itself. Hyperflash fixed. All right guys, this is another edition of TRS Tech Tips. I'm TRS Matt, and you enjoy those new turn signals.